Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in automata theory that is a derivation tree or a parse tree. Derivation tree and the same is also known as parse tree. Parse tree, right? So in this tree's concept, this derivation tree consists of three nodes. So first one is a root node or we can call it as a root vertex, root vertex or root node. So which is nothing but a start symbol of our CFD, start symbol, okay. And also this will be known as the non-terminal, okay, non-terminal, non-terminal. And the second one is leaf node or leaf vertex leaf node or leaf vertex that means this is these are nothing but terminals terminals okay and the third one is intermediate nodes intermediate vertex so these are all non-terminals a set of non-terminals other than the star symbol okay these are all the non-terminals so, if you consider any context-free grammar, so if is there any string which accepted by this context-free grammar can be derived by using some derivation and that can be graphically represented by using this derivation tree, right? For example, let us take some context-free grammar x, s tends to uh, some b, s, b or a or b. So let us uh, let us take this example, okay? And we need to construct the derivation tree for a string, for a string b b a b b. So we need to construct the string. So construction of a string means this string is accepted by this particular context tree grammar. So we need to derive the string from this production roots, okay? We need to derive the string from this production roots. So let us start with start symbol yes. So in yes, we can substitute b yes b. So b yes b. Okay. So the first b was done. And again, yes can be substituted with b yes b. So again, once again, I will go with the, this one b yes b. Okay, so from the start symbol, we are just substituting the production rules and deriving the string because this string is an accepted string by this particular CFG, context free grammar. So we are supposed to derive this string from this production rules. So you can observe here B, B. So this one also achieved B, B. Okay, and also at the end we have achieved B, B. Now A. So you can also substitute yes with A. So if you substitute yes with A, so you can observe here, so it will be B and it will be B and here you can observe B, 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 B. So this is the required string. Okay, this is the required string. So first of all, yes, we have substituted B, S, B and again in the F, S, we are again substituting B, S, B and in the S, we are substituting yes so that we got this particular string. Right? So, if the string is accepted by the context-free grammar, then we can derive that string by substituting the production rules. And based upon this derivation, so this is called a derivation, right? This is called the derivation. And from this derivation, we can easily construct this derivation. So, what is the start symbol root vertex? That is a start, yes. Right? This is the start symbol. And yes, by yes, we are substituting the another production that is SB, SB. So it will be having the branches B, S, B. So this is a B, S, B. So here you can observe B are nothing but a terminals. So if it is a terminal, automatically it will be the leaf vertex. So there will be no expansion, right? There will be no branches. And S is a non-terminal. So it is an intermediate. So we can expand S again, right? Again, in order to get the given string, Yes should be again divided into B, yes, B. B, yes, B. 
So again, you can observe B are the terminals we can't expand. So these are the leaf nodes. Now again, we can substitute yes. So in order to get the given string, yes should be substituted with A. Right? Now I will expand this one with A. Now you can observe A is again this terminal. So we can't expand it. Now just read the leaf nodes from left to right. So you can observe here. So B, B, A, B, B. Right? So B, B, A, B and B. So this is the string. You got this string. Right? So in order to draw the derivation tree, so it would be very easy if you derive the string from the production rules. So from this derivation, so we can simply write the derivation tree. Right? So hope you understood. First we need to take the string which is accepted by the context free grammar and we can directly. So here uh, the strings that are accepted by this context free grammars will be many. So for example, if the string is B, A, B, this is also accepted string. This is also accepted string, right? So we can also draw the derivation tree for this one. So B, yes, B, and here it will be A. So you can observe here B, A, B, right? So we need to read the leaf nodes from left to right in order to get the string. So here we are reading from left to right. So from leftmost, so B, A, B. So this is a string. So we can consider any string and just to derive that string by applying the productions and directly from that derivation we can simply draw the derivation tree. So we will see one more example for this uh, derivation tree. So consider the one more example. So this is the production rules, right? So this is the context free grammar. So S tends to AB or epsilon, A tends to AB and a B tends to SB and the string is here. So we need to construct the derivation tree for this one. So before constructing the derivation tree, first let us uh, derive the string from the production rules. So I will write this one above. I think it's visible. Yes. A, B or epsilon. Right. Now, let me start with yes. Yes. So yes can be substituted with A, B or epsilon. So I will just write A, B. And now, first we need to get the terminal A. So in order to get the terminal, so A can be derived as A, B, B. Right. This was achieved. And again, we need to get A. So in order to get A, here you just write S, yes, B and B. So now this A is, sorry, yes, A. A, yes, B, right? And again, so if you want to get A, just we need to apply S yes as A, B, B, B. And again, now, instead of A, so we need to get this one, right? So A, instead of A, we can write A, B, 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 and B. Right? Now, you can observe here, two A's have been achieved. Now we need to get a B. So in, instead of B here, you can write it S, B, 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 and B. Okay? So, you can observe here, we have to get a B. So instead of S, we can simply apply Epsilon. So this will be A, A, Epsilon, B, 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 and a B. So you can simply avoid the epsilon A, A, B, capital B, small b and a capital B. And again, so this was achieved. Now again, we need to get a B here. So instead of getting, if you, uh, for getting B, now again substitute this one A, A, B and B can be written as S, B. Again, you can write S, B, B and a B. Again, you can apply the epsilon A, A, B, epsilon B, B and B. So avoid the epsilon A, A, B, B, B and B, right? Again, you need to expand this B. So we have achieved this one. Up to here we have done, right? Last B. So this will be done. Uh, I will write here. So A, A, B, B, 
B and B, right? So instead of B again, I am just substituting here A, A, B, 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 yes. Sorry, this is B, yes. Sorry, S, B, okay. Yes, B, so, right? Now A, A, B, 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 Epsilon, B. So simply we can avoid the Epsilon. So simply we will get this one. So this is the string. So this string was derived from the start symbol. Okay. Simply we are deriving the string from the start symbol. So just represent the same derivation using the derivation tree. So start with symbol S. Start with symbol S. Okay. So yes, first we have given A and B. Next, A is again divided into AB. So A, B. Right? And again, B is divided into S into B. So, so we need not change this one because this is a terminal, right? So S and B. Right? We need to change B. Again, this S is divided as AB. So once again, A, B. Okay? And again, A is divided as AB. A, B. Okay? Now again, B is divided as SB. Yes, B. Right? And now, see, this B is again uh, divided as SB. Yes and B and here uh, we have given some epsilon. We have given some epsilon and here also we are giving some epsilon and you can see A, A, B, B, B and here again B is divided as Yes and B which is nothing but epsilon here. So this is the derivation tree for this particular context with grammar to achieve the string for two years followed by four weeks. So you have to read the string from left to right, all the leaf nodes from left to right. See A and what is the next one? A, what is the next one? Epsilon, B, 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 Epsilon, B, right? So A, A, Epsilon, B, Epsilon, B, F, B, Epsilon, B. So from reading from left to right, we are achieving this particular string. So this process, we call it as a derivation tree. So this is a called a derivation and this is the derivation tree. So if you uh, derive this, if you derive the string from the production rules, then it will be very easy to draw the derivation tree. And this derivation tree is also known as parse tree. Parse tree. Okay. Derivation tree or a parse tree. So three nodes will be there. One is a root node, another one is a leaf node, another one is an intermediate node, intermediate node. So root node is a start symbol, leaf nodes are terminals and intermediate nodes are non-terminals. Right? So hope you understood this derivation tree and the derivation. So let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Uh, definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.